I'm the CSMU in Bailey and I won the DAV Achievement Award. So my name is Stephen Rashma and I won the Community Service Award. And my name is Second Lieutenant Amanda Roxborough and I won the Community Award. Uh, so my name is uh, Simeon Rains um, and the award that I won today was for excellence in the core drums. So I'm Second Lieutenant Cox and I won the First Aid Award. Really good. I think it's well having the Lord Lieutenant of Greater London there. I think as just a surprise thing, as as the direct representative of Her Majesty on the Jubilee weekend, it's definitely icing on the cake of a really, really good, well, well choreographed event. I have I've, I've absolutely loved it. Um, just from how we've been looked after from when we've come in to the actual ceremony itself, it was just it was really interesting to even just go around the museum and the medal room at the start and just have a look at some of the history behind this building and it was it was incredible so the event's been really good it's just nice to be somewhere that's totally different kind of from the normal army cadets if that makes sense and mm -hmm. i think um somewhere which has got so much history is also an amazing place for us to be uh, I'm, ex I'm extremely proud and, and just honored that I've, I've got to got to come down here and just sort of have the whole experience of of receiving the award and it's just completely unexpected but really very very proud. Oh just thrilled to bits, thrilled to bits and just getting that recognition. Not that you do it for the recognition but it is just lovely to get that pat of pat on the back. I feel honoured that obviously I've been you know nominated and I've received it but um, you know I said when I started uh, I didn't do it for the award, I didn't do it to be recognised, I've done it because obviously it's the right thing to do. You've got to help, you know, the community and anyone you can. Act UK. Act UK. Yes. <laughs> uh, Act UK. Act UK. I think the new brand's a really important thing and I think that also it separates it from like the RFCAs as well because obviously mm -hmm. it's a term that's banded around a lot and um, it's kind of like all of the different RFCAs and I think you know mm -hmm. ACFA, RFCA, it's all very kind of intermingled and kind of bound around each other but I think mm -hmm. kind of the new brand makes it very clear to people what the charity is there for. Um, I've learned that the charity kind of is behind the cadet force and obviously is the main charity behind obviously supporting the cadet force. Well, I, d I didn't know that they that they deal with all, all parts of the Army Cadet Force in the UK. I thought it was sort of just, just an England thing, but obviously it is, it's the UK. Um, so, because I've, I've been on national music camp, so I've met cadets from across the country, but you know, I didn't even know that the Army Cadets was present in Northern Ireland or, or certain parts of Scotland. Yeah, cause I think it's something our colonel pushes quite a lot is mm -hmm. they are there to provide things like funding or even like just notoriety for different things that you're doing and mm -hmm. they will support you if you know it's anything to do with the army cadets and it just gives more cadets more opportunities to do more things mm -hmm. and just makes it a huge open door for anyone that wants to do anything within the ACF. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just a huge benefit to have. I think the Army Cadets is a fantastic organisation. I think, for to me, it's about friendship. It's about um, developing yourself, but also developing the young people that we work with. Um, so providing them skills to be able to go and get employment later on in life. Um, but equally, I think I've had a lot of development as well from the organisation, which is really good for my personal development. Um, but equally, seeing others achieve is a really big achievement as well. Um, for me, it, it it's kind of molded me into who I am today so when I when I first joined cadets I was I was 14 15 and I didn't really speak to anyone for the first few months and I was extremely quiet and just not confident at all but over the last four or five years it's just developed me into the person I am today and now I can happily sit and talk to talk to anyone that, that I come across so it's really helped build that confidence. I think it's important for young people to experience army cadets because mm -hmm. not only does it teach you um you know how to look after yourself in the field and it teaches you fun activities like shooting and field craft um it's really good to have all that but it teaches you discipline it teaches you how to respect people how to you know be mm -hmm. courageous um but you know most of all it it teaches you respect and discipline and obviously it's something that you take away from that and take into the, the wider world
So as an employer myself and as somebody that does employs um, quite a lot of people there mm -hmm. and through kind of the business networks that we sit in there's kind of quite a big skills gap at the moment um, in young people because obviously people have lost that kind of those um, essential years due to COVID etc um, and they've I think the Army Flex gives young people a really good opportunity to be able to have something above their peers they wouldn't necessarily get, whether that be leadership skills, whether that be just being able to communicate, work as part of a team, those real kind of core essential skills that you need to be able to work within a workplace. And I think that's what this organisation gives and why more people should sign up. I think I think it, in, it instills a lot of discipline into their daily lives and helps them build a routine. Um, it also helps cadets who may struggle with their home life and it, or if they struggle at school, if they're not as academically ahead, it gives them something to thrive in where they can feel like they are talented and they are needed and wanted in something. And it's just an organisation that I feel like all youth should be a part of because it really gives them a head start in, in future careers in their, in their life as a citizen in the UK. Um, again, I had mentioned earlier about confidence mm -hmm. and I think that is teamwork as well. Um, you get young cadets going away for the weekend, which can be rather scary for them. The older cadets can encourage them, and certainly the adult instructors. And you see that progression from that scared child at the very beginning, and as they age out, we're always very sad to see them age out, but you see this these very, um, very uh, confident young men and women ready for that big bad world. Just what I, well, I will just thank all of my um, instructors in my county for just pushing me to, to where I am today, particularly my training officer. He sort of developed a training program to help me get through as fast as I've been able to and just really helped push me to where I am today. Of the Act UK and obviously our current officer, thank Colonel White for putting on such a brilliant event. I've never been to London before, so first time and then being shown around, it's been amazing. But just the ACF in general for giving me all the opportunities they have. Yeah, because it's really changed my life and hopefully the ACF can continue to change lives for many years to come. Thank you, Mum and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Act UK. <laughs>